Okay, so here we have a situation where we've got a little wagon. Um, it's attached to a uh, rope, and up here there's a little pulley. And this guy right here is uh, he's walking this way and uh, and pulling this rope, and so it'll pull the wagon in. So the question is, what's the speed of the wagon? How fast is this wagon uh, getting pulled? when it's 12 feet from the pole assuming the rope is being pulled at 1.5 feet per second okay so um, let's uh, let's do uh, step one is to of course draw a picture and label so um, let's say uh, that so we know this guy is 10 and um, so we need a label this guy right here this uh, rope um, so let's label that H and since it's saying that it's being pulled at 1.5 feet per second that's talking about the rope so that's how fast um, this guy is changing so DH over DT is equal to uh, 1.5 now we have you have to be careful though because um, it's being pulled at 1.5 feet per second which means this guy is going this way so H notice is getting smaller so the rate has to be negative uh, okay and then um, D so we have X and then this uh, guy right here uh, DX over DT this is what we're looking for. This is how fast this guy is moving. And that's when, uh, according to the rope, when x, sorry, according to the problem, when x is equal to 12. OK. Now step two, uh, find a formula that relates all of our information. So if you look at this, well, it seems a bit obvious that the Pythagorean theorem would be the best bet. Um, so the Pythagorean theorem says that uh, x squared plus, now here it's not 10 squared because 10 is the entire uh, height of the pole and we're, uh, this wagon is being grabbed from right here. So it's going to be uh, 8 squared and that's going to equal to h squared. Okay. So uh, step three then is to find the derivative of both sides with respect to time. And so the derivative of this guy is uh, 2x dx over dt plus uh, 0 is equal to 2h dh over dt okay and so um, then that means so step four we uh, plug in all our stuff so let's see if we have everything uh, we have x we know x is equal to 12 uh, dx over dt that's the one that I'm looking for so I'm just gonna leave that one there h I don't actually have um, but I have that, I know that x is equal to 12, so if I draw my little uh, triangle here, I'm looking for h, this guy is 8, and this guy is 12, then this guy would be the square root of 12 squared plus 8 squared. And dh over dt, we already said that was negative 1.5. And another thing I can do is I can divide everything by 2 to get rid of those uh, 12s. So if I plug all that stuff in, I would get that dx over dt is equal to negative uh, square root of uh, 144 plus 64 over 12 times negative 
oh sorry, times 1.5. And this is a prox, well, this is equal to negative square root of 13 over 2. And this is in feet per second. And notice that the answer is negative because uh, the distance x is decreasing. So that's why this guy is uh, negative. And that's it.